I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit today about the head end on a security system. This is kind of the brains of the operation and the most important part. Um, we like to use enterprise grade servers. We actually custom build all of our servers, depending on how many days of storage, how many cameras we have, quality of the cameras, bit rates. There's a lot of different variables in the head end that we can build. First thing you want to start out with is a lockable network server rack. We like to keep our server in there, all of our PoE switches, any kind of network devices that need to be locked up and kept away, we always mount those inside of the, the network rack. Secondary is the server. Server's absolutely the most important part when it comes to a, a surveillance system or any security system. Enterprise grade servers that we build, we tend to use a lot of different things like dual NIC cards. What this allows you to do is separate the camera network from the actual internet network or the viewing client network. Another thing that we do on our servers is redundant power supplies, just in case one of those power supplies ever fails. We have another one that backs up immediately and you never power down your server. Uh, we like to use Intel Xeon processors, anywhere from version three and up, depending on how much bandwidth or how much the, the quality of the cameras that we're using. Sometimes I even use dual Intel Xeon processors. Uh, we need to get a lot of processing power when you have a lot of different stuff going on with that server. Uh, another thing that we do is we run RAID on all of our servers. For our operating system, we usually typically use a 500 gigabyte or one terabyte drive. We mirror that, um, it's a RAID 1 mirroring RAID. So if that operating system drive ever goes down, the other one picks up and you, you're, you're, you basically have no downtime on your server. Um, what we like to do with our milestone servers is they have two different databases that need to be kept track of. We have a live database and an archiving database. Uh, we always do a RAID 10 on the live database because that's more of a fast action, rapid type of um, type of storage. And then for the archiving, which is the long term storage, we use a RAID 5. It doesn't need to be as fast acting, holds more storage. Um, all of our servers come, we, we put hot swappable drives. So we never really have to have any kind of downtime on the server at all. If a drive fails that's in the RAID, pull that drive out, pop a new, new RAID drive in, and it'll literally rebuild that, that storage drive with all the redundant storage that's in there. We also use UPSs, which is an uninterruptible power supply on every single install that we do. That way, if there is a power failure, your, your cameras, your server, everything will still be up and recording. You don't lose any footage. So to give a good recap on a good head end, we need a lockable network rack, a UPS, which is an uninterrupted power supply, and an enterprise grade server.